In early 2018, Mason Ramsey would go to a local Walmart and play a song. It's here where he got famous and got over 500 billion record sales in one month. Hey, I'm Michael McCruden, and you're watching After They Were Famous. So all jokes aside, let's take a walk to the earlier half of this year, back in March, where we had the emergence of one of the most popular memes of the first half of the year, that being the yodeling Walmart boy, the singing Walmart kid, Mason Ramsey. Yeah. The Too Long Didn't Read Mason Ramsey story was that he was just at his local Walmart doing a performance of Hank Williams' Lovesick Blues, and it was recorded and posted to the internet, and naturally it goes viral for whatever reason. But I've been kind of invested in this story because I made a video about Mason Ramsey back whenever this meme was going on. I believe April 2nd is when I made this. And I think I was like one of the first people to actually talk about this shit on YouTube. Normally we talk about living memes from, you know, almost a decade ago, but I really want to take a moment here to catch up with Mason Ramsey's story because there's a lot to be said. This kid has achieved musically in six months what some artists have tried their entire lives to achieve success-wise. So let's talk about whatever happened to Mason Ramsey because there's a good bit here to really discuss. I mean, this kid has become super successful because of a meme. This story starts back in March 24th of 2018. 11-year-old Mason Ramsey was at a Harrisburg, Illinois Walmart doing one of his impromptu pop-up performances of Hank Williams' Lovesick Blues song. And this wasn't the first time that Mason had done one of these pop-up performances. See, Mason Ramsey is from the small town of Golconda, Illinois, a city that as of 2017 has a population of close to 700 people. So naturally, in his home of Golconda, there aren't many venues or potential places for him to showcase his talent. So in order to remedy this, his grandparents frequently take him to the Walmart in nearby Harrisburg, which is a town in Illinois, which is about 40 minutes away from Golconda, and he does these pop-up performances there. I just want to go ahead and put this out there like, if somebody in Nashville tried to do some sort of pop-up performance at the Walmarts we had around here, like, you would probably get robbed. But anyways, so on March 24th, Mason did another one of his pop-up performances, and this time he was filmed doing it by a woman by the name of Dana Tanner. See, Mason's grandparents would take him to this Walmart, and people would oftentimes try to film him, and they gave permission of this Dana lady to film him and sort of upload it onto the internet. So Dana records Mason's performance, and I mean, it is a pretty good performance. Like, this kid can sing. He's only 11 years old, and he's got some pretty solid pipes. That last song she said goodbye. But this video that Dana recorded on the 24th would basically end up starting this kid's music career through a series of crazy events. The video that was recorded of Mason singing was sold to a viral video aggregator called Viral Hog. And Viral Hog is a bit of a controversial topic, but I'll sort of give you the rundown of what these guys do. So Viral Hog essentially scours the internet for videos that they feel could potentially go viral, and they offer these people who upload the source footage a lump sum of cash for the rights to the video. For example, let's say I took a video of some world star hip hop esque fight that I saw at like my local Walmart, right? And I posted it online. Well, if Viral Hog decided, hey, you know, that's a nice video you have there, we'll buy that off you for 100 bucks but you gotta give us the rights to it. Once they have the rights to that video though, I mean, they can pretty much use it in any way they see fit to make money. So it's kind of a gamble if you sell your videos to Viral Hog, you could end up getting scammed, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, Viral Hog was the company that ended up buying the rights to this Mason Ramsey video. So the video of Mason Ramsey singing in Walmart was posted on Viral Hog's channel on March 26th. And by April 1st, the video accumulated around 100,000 views. So the snowball effect had sort of started, but it wasn't anywhere near the peak. What really started to get this video to pop was it being shared on Twitter, and Twitter has a pretty active meme base. So people took this video, which was initially uploaded by Twitter user DumbassVegan, and started making remix memes of it, sort of making it popular in the memeosphere, and it was being shared at a pretty rapid rate at this point. There were also remixes that begin to appear on YouTube. You had electronic music music artists making EDM remix parodies of this song and some of them were actually like pretty banging. 
and you had YouTubers, commentators talking about this meme, talking about this Mason Ramsey kid. I mean, I myself, like I said, made a video about this and I swear to God like I was one of the first people to make a video talking about the Walmart kid if you guys can find another one that's published before mine please let me know but I mean I beat PewDiePie to this okay and speaking of PewDiePie PewDiePie made a video in his meme review segment talking about this where he notoriously like gave it a zero or something but needless to say having your meme or your you know musical performance being posted by PewDiePie is a pretty big viewer base to see and definitely helped Mason Ramsey become more popular. Just a side note here though, PewDiePie's meme review of the Mason Ramsey Yodel Kid meme is no longer available. And I don't know this 100%, but I'm fairly certain the reasoning behind this was because Viral Hog claimed his video and he took it down because he didn't want them to make money off of his work. So, I don't know if that's 100% true, but I remember hearing that in like one of PewDiePie's follow-up videos. So, yeah, just putting that out there. So the combination between YouTube and Twitter basically making this into a massive meme, I mean, for a few weeks, Singing Walmart Kid was like on mainstream meme status. I remember people at work knew about this meme. My parents knew about this meme. He had definitely got into that mainstream meme slot that's coveted by so many. And just a fun fact to add in here, the song that Mason Ramsey performs at Walmart, you know, the Hank Williams Sr. Lovesick Blues song. Well, after Mason Ramsey's video went viral, Spotify streams for Lovesick Blues had seen a two week, 2,452% increase in Spotify streams, which made it number four on Spotify's global viral 50 chart. People were definitely becoming aware of Hank Williams Sr.'s catalog because of this kid, which it is a pretty solid catalog. I highly recommend you check that one out. But anyways, so the iron was definitely hot for Mason Ramsey to strike. I mean, this kid had aspirations of being a musician. Now would be the time to sort of take advantage of all this popularity you have in the attempt to possibly launch a career. And it wouldn't be long until things really started to fall into place for Mason. His first big break was getting invited on Ellen. And I'm pretty sure we all saw this coming. Ellen does have a pretty recurring trend of inviting talented children on her show. So, I mean, this really wasn't a surprise. But this was like a dream come true for Mason because when he was on Ellen, he was offered an opportunity of a lifetime. That was so good. That was so good. All right. So remember how you said you wanted to sing at the Grand Ole Opry and I said That's a, that takes a long time, right? Yes. Well, you know, we have a lot of friends. We have a lot of connections. So I called my friends at the Grand Ole Opry and they want you to perform there Saturday. Oh my God. And since you want to go to college, our friends at Walmart want to help you, and they're going to give you a scholarship for $15,000. So yeah, a college scholarship and getting to perform at the Grand Ole Opry, and you're only 11 years old, there were probably hella country music artists who had been working for decades that were just completely distraught at this kid making it before they could. But for the most part, everybody was ecstatic for him. He was killing it. Later that same week on Friday, just one day before his Grand Ole Opry performance, Mason Ramsey surprised everyone when he came out on stage at Coachella. Yeah, like the Coachella Music Festival. Check out this clip where he walks out with DJ Wethin. The whole crowd just goes completely apeshit when they see him walk out. And then as promised, the next day on Saturday, he did go on stage and perform Lovesick Blues at the Grand Ole Opry, which is among one of the highest privileges in country music and in music as a whole. And here's a clip from that performance. Don't go wild about me, cause I, that's already happened. I got a beat like autumn blue, hold on to my baby say goodbye. Blues. 
So at this point, it was well established that Mason Ramsey was a hot commodity in the music business world, and I'm sure you can imagine labels were hot on his trail trying to sign this kid. Well, late in April, he would be picked up by a Nashville-based label called Big Loud, and on April 26th, he would drop his first debut single, this song called Famous, which has over 22 million views on YouTube as of now. His debut single, Famous, entered at number 62 on the US billboards, and the two-song E EP that Famous was featured on, well, that was in the top 10 Billboard Heat Seekers albums list at number 7, tentatively establishing him as a marketable artist. So we're nearing the end of 2018, but everything that Mason Ramsey has done so far has proved that even after the meme juice has run out, like he potentially has marketability as a legitimate country music artist. It'll be extremely interesting to see like how his debut album goes, which I believe is going to be out sometime early next year. It was previously slated for the end of this year, but I can't find any, you know, uh, information about the exact drop date. So the prospects of his future music career aside, let's kind of take a quick moment to look at, well, he is an 11 year old kid. I mean, is he still going to school? Like this kid is balling now, right? Well, an interview with Rolling Stone sort of reveals that his family is trying to balance his business opportunities with music and also keeping him, you know, sort of having an appropriate environment to grow up in as he is just a really young child. An interview with Rolling Stone tells us that Golconda, Illinois is still his base of operations and he still lives with his grandparents. He's no longer in public school, however. He's being homeschooled while on tour by his aunt and uncle. And he's currently on a massive national tour opening up for country music artist Chris Lane, so he definitely has his work cut out for him. And Rolling Stone also tells us that Mason isn't ambivalent about whether or not he wants to make country music his living. He's happy that he's not returning to school in the fall, and if things go as planned, he'd love to eventually move to Nashville. So hell, maybe I'll run into this kid around town or something, I don't know. And so that's pretty much where we're at with Mason Ramsey right now. It's gonna be interesting to see how his music career turns out because there are a lot of flash in the pan uh, examples of child stars who sort of just fizzle out give it a year's time so let's hope for the best so hopefully he can really make something out of a meme but that's been today's whatever happened to episode i'll see you guys in the next one and make sure you check out my affiliates over at cool shirts for some banging winter wear and major shout outs to my patrons i appreciate you guys continued support and i have a brief announcement about patreon there's a new three dollar donation tier that unlocks access to exclusive patron only streams you'll get several of these streams a month if this is something that you're interested in there's more information on my patreon page so definitely go check that out if you're interested in exclusive streams with me but anyways wavy web surf out peace